Welcome to the Interacting with Junos OS module. By the end of this module, you should be able to describe the Junos OS management methods and operating modes. The Juno CLI is a text-based command shell used to configure and monitor devices running Juno's OS. One option for accessing the CLI on a device is through the out-of-band serial console connection. The console port settings are predefined and are not user configurable. On virtualized Juno's devices, such as the VSRX and VMX, the out-of-band console is provided by the hypervisor virtual console. A second option for accessing the CLI is over the network, in band, using access protocols, such as Telnet or SSH. Unlike the console connection, these access options require configuration of the network port and the access protocol. Many Juniper device platforms running Junos OS also offer a dedicated management Ethernet port. This management port provides out-of-band access. This out-of-band port is unique in that it can be used to configure the device, but cannot forward transit traffic. The actual name of the dedicated management Ethernet port varies between platforms. For details on your specific platform, refer to the Juniper Networks Tech Library website. You can access this website from the reference links document. The JWeb is a web-based GUI that you can access by using either HTTP or HTTPS. It provides quick configuration wizards to simplify the most common configuration tasks. For more complicated configurations, the JWeb GUI enables you to directly edit the system's configuration as a text file. The JWeb GUI is installed and enabled by default on most platforms running Junos OS. In addition to user interfaces, Junos OS provides three automation interfaces or APIs used to remotely configure Juniper devices. The first API implemented on devices running Junos OS and most frequently used is the Junos XML API. The Junos XML API determines Junos XML remote procedure calls or RPCs issued by a remote system. Junos XML RPCs can be used to monitor and configure devices running Junos OS. Every Junos OS CLI command has an equivalent RPC. Junos OS XML RPCs are sent to a device running Junos OS over a network configuration protocol or NetConf connection. NetConf is a transport protocol that uses SSH to transport RPCs to network devices. NetConf is a protocol originally developed by Juniper and later adopted and ratified by the IETF and RFCs 4741 and 6241. The Representational State Transfer, or REST API, can be configured on Juno's OS devices using commands available under the Edit System Services REST hierarchy level. Once configured, the REST API becomes available as the REST service, a REST-based interface that enables you to submit RPC commands to the device from a remote location and supports GET and POST requests. With the REST API, you can Use GET requests to submit RPC commands. Use POST requests to submit information through RPC commands. Retrieve configuration information in XML, as key, plain text, or JavaScript object notation, JSON, and retrieve operational data in XML, as key, or JSON. The REST API was created for customers who manage their whole data center using REST. On the back end, all REST RPCs are converted to Juno's XML RPCs. The Juniper Extension Toolkit, or JET, is a framework that enables developers to create applications that extend the functionality of Juno's OS. It focuses on providing a standards-based interface to the Juniper Network's Juno's OS for customizing management and control plane functionality. The JET also includes a virtual machine, or VM, packaged as a Vagrant file, libraries, and other tools to enable developers to write on device JET applications. The JET applications can run on devices running Juno's OS, on-box, or on another remote device, off-box, in your operating environment, and connect over the network to a device running Juno's OS, 
and interact with Juno's OS through request response and notification services over standards-based transport channels. The JET API was developed as a modern API for the cloud era, where remote management devices may need to make configuration changes thousands of times per minute. Juno's OS requires a username and password for access. The administrator creates user accounts and assigns permissions. All platforms running Juno's OS have only the root user configured by default. All non-root users are placed into the CLI automatically. When configured, the console login displays the host name of the device. When you have not configured a host name, as is the case with a factory default configuration, the software displays Amnesiac in place of the host name. The root user has complete access and control of the device. When you log in as the root user, the software places you at the Unix or Linux shell. You must start the Juno's OS CLI by typing the CLI command. When you exit the CLI, you return to the Unix or Linux shell. For security reasons, ensure that you also log out of the shell by using the exit command. Note that in VSRX, the root login prompt from the shell shows hash instead of percentage. In the operational mode, you use the CLI to monitor and troubleshoot the device. The monitor, ping, show, test, and trace route commands enable you to display information and test network connectivity for the device. In the configuration mode, you can configure Juno's OS, including interfaces, protocols, and user access, as well as several system hardware properties. Welcome to the Juno's OS CLI Help Options module. By the end of this module, you should be able to use various help options within the Juno's OS CLI. The CLI provides context-sensitive help at any point in a command line. Help tells you which options are acceptable at the current point in the command and provides a brief description of each command or command option. To receive help at any time while in the Juno CLI, type a question mark. You do not need to press Enter. If you type the question mark at the command line prompt, the CLI lists the available commands and options, including user-defined variables, at the appropriate context. If you type the question mark after entering the complete name of a command or an option, the CLI lists the available commands and options, and then redisplays the command name and options that you typed. If you type the question mark in the middle of a command name, the CLI lists possible command completions that match the letters you have entered so far, and then redisplays the letters that you typed. You can use the help command in various ways. The help topic command displays usage guidelines for the statement. This example illustrates how information is received on configuring an interface address. The help reference command displays summary information for the reference configuration statement. In this example, you seek help with interface addressing. Although not shown here, the help reference command displays a complete list of related configuration options along with several other details specific to the reference command statement. In addition to the help topic and help reference commands, Juno's OS also offers the help apropos command. The help apropos command displays context, typically set commands, that reference a specified variable. This is an example of the help apropos command. The help apropos command only displays contexts that are relevant to the configuration hierarchy level at which you are currently positioned. In other words, if you enter the displayed sample command at the edit hierarchy level, you will see all possible references rather than just those that are applicable to the edit system archival configuration hierarchy level. The CLI provides a completion function. Therefore, you are not always required to type the full command or the command option name for the CLI to detect it. To complete a command or option that you have partially typed, press the spacebar. If the partially typed letters begin a string that uniquely identifies a command, the CLI displays the complete command name. Otherwise, the CLI beeps to indicate that you have entered an ambiguous command and it displays the possible completions. The command completion option is on by default, but you can turn it off. 
To disable command completion for an individual user session, issue the set CLI complete on space off command. You can use the tab key to complete system commands and user defined variables. Examples of variables include policy names, autonomous system or AS paths, community names, and IP addresses. The tab key also offers a list of possible completions if multiple, ambiguous options exist. Command completion enables you to save time by reducing your keystrokes and prevents errors by accurately referencing the desired user-defined variables. The CLI supports Emacs-style keyboard sequences that enable you to move the cursor on a command line and delete specific characters or words. The supported sequences are listed. Please note that when using the escape key, you must release the key and press it again for each occurrence. This action differs from the control key, which you can hold down for multiple occurrences. Junos OS defaults to a VT100 terminal type. This terminal type enables the use of the keyboard arrow keys without any additional session or configuration modification. For operational and configuration commands that display output, such as the show commands, you can filter the output. When help is displayed for these commands, one of the options listed is pipe, which enables the command output to be filtered. To filter the output of an operational mode or a configuration mode command, add a pipe and an option to the end of the command. The available options are displayed. Please note that you can access this table from the reference links document. You can cascade multiple instances of the CLI pipe functionality, which can be very beneficial when you must search extensive outputs displayed through the CLI for specific information. Welcome to the Junos OS CLI Monitoring and Troubleshooting Commands module. By the end of this module, you should be able to execute monitoring and troubleshooting commands in Junos OS. You use Operational Mode CLI commands to monitor and control the operation of a device running Junos OS. The Operational Mode commands exist in a hierarchical structure as displayed. For example, the Show command displays various types of information about the system and its environment. One of the possible options for the Show command is OSPF, which displays information about the OSPF protocol. Specifying the interface option as in the show OSPF interface command, outputs information about OSPF interface. Junos OS also adds additional flexibility through the run command, which enables you to issue operational mode commands while in the configuration mode. The key operational mode capabilities include entering into configuration mode, controlling the CLI environment, exiting the CLI, monitoring and troubleshooting, copying files, restarting software processes, and performing system-level operations. The monitoring and troubleshooting operations can be performed using the Clear, Monitor, M-Trace, Ping, Show, Test, and Traceroute commands. Here are some of the commonly used operational mode commands while monitoring and troubleshooting devices running Junos OS.